today, we will discuss the different types of government according to Aristotle. Government is one of the entities or elements of the state. And according to social contract theory, there are basic purposes of government. First is to maintain peace and order. Or government is the one who maintain the public safety of the society. Another is to protect the rights of the people. To avoid the abusing of power, government should protect or must protect the rights of the people. And lastly is to promote the common good. In short, the government should work to promote the betterment of the society. Aristotle, as the father of politics or political science, gave his own version of the classifications or the forms of government according to the number of ruler and the execution of power. So according to Aristotle, that we can classify the types or forms of government according to the number of ruler and how leaders execute their own power or their powers to their or within the people. Country or countries can be ruled by one person, few people, or it can be also a many people or a group of people. And powers can be distributed according to a normal form or an ideal form and perverted form. So when we say perverted form, this is the too much executing of power. So let us discuss the different forms or types of government according to the number of ruler. Let us discuss one of the types of government ruled by a single person, which is monarchy. So when we say monarchy, this is a type of government ruled by king or queen. It rules a kingdom or an empire. And according to Aristotle, this is one of the most efficient type of government because of their political and economic values. According to Aristotle, they do not feel the pressure to maintain their position because of their traditional preference wherein the power is inherited. So the tendency of monarch countries become a better because they are not prone to employ force to manifest or subjugate their people. And monarchy can be classified into two categories. We have absolute monarchy and constitutional monarchy. So when we see absolute monarchy from the word itself, the supreme power is focuses only from the king or queen. A good example of absolute monarch countries are some or most of the countries from Middle East. We have Saudi Arabia, which is ruled by a king who is Mohammed bin Salman. Same also with Qatar and Oman. So most of the countries in Middle East is an Islamic absolute monarchy. A good example also is the state of Vatican, wherein it ruled by a religious traditional system which is a catholic church or ruled by a pope we can say that it's absolute monarchy because the power itself is is came from the 
king or queen. For example is the execution and the creation of the laws, it comes only from a one person. While constitutional monarchy, this is a system type of monarchy ruled by king or queen and the presence of their cons constitution. So a good example of constitutional monarchy is the different countries from Europe, most likely. So a good example is UK or United Kingdom, ruled by Queen Elizabeth II. And the power of the Queen or the power of Queen Elizabeth is not absolute because of the presence of Prime Ministers. So here in constitutional monarchy, the King or Queen serves only as a symbol of their state, while the Prime Ministers are the one who execute and take the power of the government. And the perverted type of government ruled by a single person known as tyranny. Tyranny is a rule of dictator. Aristotle argued that tyrant ruler serves only by his or her own interest. Or most probably, tyrant ruler may use a force to protect their power or to stay their position. Or we can say that tyranny or tyrant leader has a fascist or fascism ideology. And again, a good example of tyrant leaders is Benito, are Benito Mussolini, Stalin, and Adolf Hitler from Germany. So let us now discuss the type of government ruled of the few and the ideal form is known as aristocracy. When we see aristocracy, this is the best type of government according to Aristotle. It is because it is rule of the few intellectuals or known as aristocrats. Aristocrats is the combination of being an intellectual and a rich people. And according to Aristotle, this is the best combination of, of abilities or traits of a leader. And aristocracy can be less prone to corruption given that it is run by a few intellectuals and ha who have no vested to self-interest due to their being rich and moral values and their non-economic preoccupation. A good example of aristocrats before is the French nobility and some of the rich family like Medici family from Italy Contrary from aristocracy, we have the type of government or the perverted form of rule of the few, which is oligarchy. When we see oligarchy or the oligarch countries, this is a rule of the few rich individuals. The rulers are more predisposed to further their economic interests. So here in an oligarchy type of government, the government is not only focuses to the politics or how to govern their countries, but also to focuses on the economic interest, which leads to 
the system of capitalism or ruled by a capitalist. So in oligarchy, most of the politicians become a capitalist or vice versa. Capitalists become a politician because they wanted to control the political system of a state and the economic interest as well. So, or these are the different politicians who become a own, an owner of the different private property. And actually, here in the Philippines, we have also different politicians that can be considered as an oligarch type of political system. Or there, are, there is an influence of an oligarch type of government or political system. And Aristotle considered this type of government as problematic. Let us go now to the type of government rule of many. So an ideal type of government which rule of many is polity. Polity is a rule of the middle class. So according to Aristotle, if we cannot achieve to have the best type of government, which is aristocracy, let's have the polity. Because this is the most or the best alternative type of government. If we cannot achieve the aristocracy type of government. And this is the most efficient type of government as it is less to corruption because it ru ruled by a middle class. And most of the people belongs to middle class are satisfied when it comes to their economically values or economic values and they are also well educated and well mannered. But this, this type of government is rare to our society because most of the country which rule of many or ruled by many, it leads to Aristotle considered democracy as a perverted form of government. And when we say democracy, this is ruled by the people or the masses. And if Aristotle believed that aristocracy is the best type of government, while on the other hand, democracy is the worst type or the most ineffective type of government based to Aristotle. It is because of the less qualifications of the voters in a certain country comparing from the other type of government, particularly in aristocrats, wherein the qualifications of the to rule a society is to become a intellect or well-educated, while in a democratic country, most of the people are experiencing poverty and lack of proper education, which leads to vote buying or corruption. Vote buying are rampant most probably for the, to the people who are experiencing poverty, wherein their votes are easily to manipulate by means of money. So that's why Aristotle believed that demo democracy is the most prone to corruption. And as a part of a democratic country, I challenge you to change this system. Or let us remove corruption by means of being responsible citizen of this country. Do not let 
politicians to serve in our country and take their personal interest in politics. Let us be responsible on how to use our power on electing government officials in our country.